now to have with us, uh, we've got uh, Cynthia English, who is the founder of uh, Global Scribes. Uh, Cynthia, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Devin. How are you holding out? Uh, I'm doing okay. We're Lovely. almost eight hours in now, uh, and uh, I am still awake. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and I am still wearing clothes. Uh, well, so, this is a good thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, at some point, their pajamas may be involved. Uh, <laughs> no more coffee, just pajamas. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh my gosh, uh, I am definitely feeling it though. So, uh, thank you very much for taking the time to be with us. Tell us about Global Scribes. We had. Uh, Stina on earlier, but that was seven hours ago. So tell us about Global Scribes. Everybody forgot. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I hope not. Um, so I think the world needs more than a Band-Aid. And to, to move the needle on this current trajectory of chaos, on the re-entrenchment globally, on the lack of, of uh, the ability to listen anymore, to compromise anymore, we need to further educate our youth. And so Global Scribes was founded to actually move more towards the core of the problem and empower our youth to be actually global citizens, empowered decision makers, and really the future stewards of our planet in a very healthy way. So um, in my opinion, um, and the reason I founded this is that I believe the more experience you have relating to others, understanding others, and um, working with one another on projects together, the more open you are to listening, respecting, trusting, and the graciousness of coming to compromise to actually then make decisions that are beneficial for most. I mean, idealistically, it will never be for all, but for most. And so this is the, uh, the reason for my creating Global Scribes, Youth Uniting Nations, is to empower them for the future. Uh, it, it is wonderful work. So tell us a little bit about the activities you undertake to accomplish that mission. So we believe that uh, communication is a basic for almost anything and everything. So we are using those tools to develop understanding because knowledge can lead to understanding. So our youth um, uh, currently interact using uh, several different tools. Um, one is a daily chat. One is a weekly video conference call. Um, and all of them, and even uh, monthly conference calls. But all of these fragmented um, communication tools have led us to a certain threshold, and now we're at a tipping point, which is why we're here asking for money today, because we want to empower all youth. And I think, Devin, one of the most important things for all of the listeners that you have today is that and all of the NGOs that are out there, uh, any kind of organization, is that what we're creating is for all of them to actually use as well. Because this tool, this platform that we're building will enable them, any youth organization, I should preface that, um, eight to 25 years old, enable them to give a gift to their youth of opening and expanding their minds, of empowering them with leadership, and management skills, English language skills, understanding that they that we are all just people and that they have power within them. Oh, that's brilliant. I've got a, a short little profile I want to pull up here that describes uh, your mission and your activities. And I just want to walk through this with you. Uh, your Twitter handle and Instagram handle are uh, both glo at Global Scribes. Your website is globalscribes.org. And uh, we got from you a long donation link, so we shortened it. Uh, do you know where, do you remember where it pointed? Yes. So we are raising money on Fundraiser, um, also Giving Loop and um, we have we accept uh, corporate donations as well as uh, we are looking into Bitcoin. But today, what you've posted there is fundraiser, which has been an amazing platform. 
Excellent. Well, we're so glad that you. Uh, Thank you for shortening are, it. Well, <laughs> Thank you, Devin. Yeah. We're um, the fundraiser is one of our sponsors today, so we're glad that uh, you used them, and we're uh, glad to hear that it's been a good experience for you. Yes, they are amazing people, very helpful. And I, I need to give credit to Sina, who you met with this morning, and uh, Irena and Teraluka, and all of our scribers who have jumped in to really lead this campaign. They have done an amazing job. I am so proud of them. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. Well, you're doing uh, remarkable work. Uh, when did you start this? So I started this in 2014 and uh, with a concept camp in uh, Greensboro, North Carolina. And uh, then through, uh, you know, networking, people that know people that know people, someone, um, Aaron Sherinian, Zain Habu, which led to uh, the Aliyan family, which led to the King Hussein Foundation, which backed me and helped me to uh, start a prototype in Jordan. Um, and from that prototype, it became very quickly recognizable that we needed to come up with a platform where we could really scale to 5 million, 31 million people. If I can, um, Devin, I would really like to say that I think one of the most important things is that what we're doing in Global Scribes is using the technology that our youth use every single day to make a positive impact. Um, everyone who thinks that this is going away, I don't think it's going away because our generation that are eight to 25 years old and younger are using technology. It is part of their life. It is their teddy bear. So we've taken this in the way that they are using it to actually support them and augment their formal education. Uh, I'd also like to, if I can, just mention that we're also on LinkedIn under Global Scribes and um uh yes and facebook on global scribes excellent excellent well this is uh it's been so fun to have you on the show we're grateful to you um we are uh, at a unique point in the day uh, almost in that uh we have flexibility at uh, at most points during the day except that uh twice during the day well three times uh, YouTube cuts us off. <laughs> YouTube, YouTube is about to cut us off. We're at about the eight hour mark. So we're a third of the way through our 24 hours. Uh, we'll, we're finishing the first segment, uh, as we've been calling it. So uh, YouTube is about to cut us off. If you are watching on uh, anywhere else, I would tell folks that uh, you can stick around if you're watching the... Um, uh, Twitter uh, Periscope uh, view, uh, you, nothing will happen. Uh, we'll go, we'll have dead air for about a minute, maybe two while we get set up on the new uh, YouTube, but otherwise it's the same. But uh, Cynthia, we really appreciate you taking the time to be with us today and wish you every success in your uh, fundraising today and in the great work that you're doing. Thank you so much. All righty. Bribers world. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you. Thanks now. And uh,